Hey, Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Let's just hop into it. All right. What is the current romantic situation for Gemini? What's Gemini's current romantic situation? What's Okay. Some of you may be dealing with somebody that is a Sag or has a Sag moon. Okay. Our moon in Sag. You also have Pisces energy, Virgo, Aquarius. Okay. First things first. Nine of Wands, Son of Pentacles, the Star, and the Ten of Cups. I feel like there's somebody, Gemini, that's been watching and waiting and kind of looking at you from a distance. <clears throat> I don't feel like this person, maybe, maybe you waited for a period of time before they've approached you. But I feel like there was some type of energy where your person or you were kind of watching watching your actions, watching what you're doing. I feel like also too, there's a level of stalking here or looking at your social media. But whatever is going on, as far as your situation is concerned, there's something here new that started, I feel like. Anytime I see the star card, I always feel like renewed hope or some type of, some type of energy like that. But there's something here that you're working on, something here that you feel like is worth investing in. And I think that it's unexpected. Like, I think that Gemini, this, this connection or this situation kind of came out of nowhere and it's making you really happy. You're, you're, you're in a phase of euphoria. You're, you're in a state of, wow, could this really be what it is? For some of you guys, you may even feel like there's a level of illusion but at this moment, like, you don't care because this is what you've been waiting for, I feel like. Current romantic situation for Gemini. Hmm. Okay. Nine of Wands, Five of Swords, Justice, Four of Cups, Three of Wands. I feel like for some of you guys, you were waiting for some type of communication to come in that didn't. And I feel like there was a stall. I also feel like two, five of swords, that's Venus in Aquarius. There was a lot of games that were being played, which ultimately put a level of distance in between you and whoever you were dealing with. And I feel like it may have been because somebody was in some type of third party situation where there may have even been a lack of communication. And I feel like this energy right now, Gemini, is like kind of like an upset energy. It's like you have all these offers, right, swirling around you, but it's like the one person you really want, like they're not dealing with you. And I feel like you've waited for this person to make an offer and make something right, and it's like they haven't. This is how you feel about it, okay? The moon, the two of swords, and the ace of pentacles. And judgment. The lovers is at the bottom, which is beautiful, so let's just place that bad boy there. I feel like intuitively, Gemini, you knew that you already knew what was going on with this person. I, I think that intuitively you knew that they were lying to you. Intuitively you knew that there was a lot of secrets with this person that maybe you didn't know the person as well as you thought. I think that your person or the situation you or your person, you put a level of distance in between the both of you in order for things not to get serious. I also feel like too, for some of you guys, this may have been some type of financial situation or some type of financial gain. Okay, but I also feel like with the two of swords here, um, there was a lack of communication. And I feel like somebody was strategizing on how exactly they could stall the relationship or stall the situation, you know, before they had to make things right. 
before they could make some type of decision with who they wanted. However, with the Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like the star with the Four of Cups, I feel like that's you wanting something, wanting something different, needing something different. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like you're being presented with a brand new person or a brand new partnership. This can be somebody that you've met at work, or this can be somebody from your past that's coming back around, especially with judgment here. I think that you're realizing you've waited long enough for somebody to do the right thing. And it's like, okay, I'm done, right? Queen of Swords. Like, I'm over it. I'm going to be very logical. Like, I feel like you're being very logical about whatever the situation is. And I also feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, hold on. How does Gemini feel about this Ace of Pentacles? Temperance, okay. With the Page of Cups, I think it's I think it's something that's very healing. I think that it's something that maybe you're going to go back and forth with because you don't know whether or not you're ready to move on or if you want something new. But either way, it's something that's surprising you, that's fulfilling you emotionally. How would Gemini's person of interest, yeah, how would they feel about this Ace of Pentacles? The Five of Wands, okay? Competition, conflict, dealing with more than one person. That's why I feel like there's somebody new coming in for you. And whoever this person is, your partner, the one that's lying and not being honest, they're not going to be okay with whatever this connection is because whoever's coming in for you is very solid. With the Ace of Pentacles here, what did Gemini realize with judgment? What did Gemini realize here with judgment? King of Pentacles. There, there is some type of commitment here that's on the table, but I feel like there's somebody here that needs to be let go. Queen of Swords reverse. How does this King of Pentacles make Gemini feel? The Ace of Wands. It's a brand new start. There's somebody here that's communicating to you that they want partnership. There's somebody here that's communicating to you. It's it's like this person is is not just all talk. It's like you're realizing with judgment here that there was a lot of lies and a lot of things that weren't said. And all of a sudden, I feel like based on the cards, there's somebody coming in here that's making you a very solid offer that's saying like, hey, I want you. And it's a brand new start. One more time. How does how, how a Gemini's person of interest feel? Okay, the world. It's an ending. It's it's done so. Nice person of interest feel. Two of Cups reversed. Okay, one more time. How would Gemini's person of interest, the one that is the Five of Swords, how, 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 how would they feel about this King of Pentacles energy? Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. Okay, the full reversed. I think it's like you're no longer being stupid. And I feel like whoever was kind of over here stalling, start, go, start, go, breadcrumbing, I feel like they understand now that like you get what's going on and you're done. That's what I'm gathering. Who is Gemini dealing with romantically? Who, who's coming in or who's Gemini dealing with romantically right now? Okay, I feel like, oh, for a lot of you guys, it's a new, it's, it's somebody new. It may be a fire sign, Aries, Sag, or Leo. Okay, or a Taurus or a Pisces. But I feel like there is a brand new love coming in that some of you may not see. And it may be because you're upset. I don't know why, but I just heard like divine intervention. It's like, I feel like your ancestors had to step in for some reason. Because there's something that you were overthinking. And I feel like it has to do with control. It's like whoever you were dealing with was such a control freak and like they didn't care what they needed to do as long as they won. So even if they did love you, it's like they wanted to keep the situation a secret because whatever was going on in their real life, it was too hard to explain. And they may have not wanted to settle down with you, right? There's no pentacles here. However, it's like they still wanted to keep you where you were. And I feel like for whatever reason, 
with the Page of Wands here and the High Priestess, I feel like there's something new coming with this Ace of Cups. Because who's this Five of Cups? Who is this? This is Mars and Scorpio. Who is this Five of Cups? Or how does Gemini feel about this Five of Cups really quick? The Ten of, the ten of, ten of Cups. See, this is your person, okay? I feel like this, Gemini. I feel like you're like, look, you want to go quiet? Cool, I'm going to go quiet. And I feel like you're giving this person a taste of their own medicine. I feel like there's somebody new coming in. And I feel like this is your old person over here crying, upset. It's like you gave them so much. And when you took it all away, I feel like this person doesn't know what to do. Who's Gemini dealing with romantically? Who's Gemini dealing with romantically? Ooh, for some of you guys, it's for sure an Aries coming in or a Leo, or a Sag. Here's what I feel. I feel like there is some type of new start here, and it may have been somebody from your past, somebody that you've worked with, or somebody that you've known for a period of time. Like, this may even be back from, like, childhood. Or, in my opinion, this also can be, um, like, a past life experience or a past life connection because you and this person feel like You've known each other for a period of time here. And I feel like I don't know, Gemini. I feel like there's more than one person here. I feel like there's somebody that wants you that's willing to go and take that step, that leap of faith. But I also feel like too with the Ace of Cups here, you're getting more than one offer. More than one person is coming and offering you something. And I feel like you're going to be letting go of this five of cups. It's too much for you. Wow. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, five of wands. There's going to be somebody that, listen, I feel like there's going to be more than one person, Gemini, that is going to be competing for your attention for a level of commitment here. And I think that it's going to surprise you because you're going to have options. And for whatever the reasoning is, I think you're going to have to say, okay, which one do I want? Because there is some type of divine union here. And I feel like there's somebody here that's just very sexual. How would Gemini's person of interest, how do they feel about this five of wands? How does Gemini's person of interest feel about this five of wands one more time i wasn't paying attention how does gemini's person of interest feel about this five of wands eight of pentacles four of wands in the sun how does gemini feel about this five of wands energy justice what comes around goes around eight of cups okay I also feel like for some of you guys, um, your person was already in a commitment and it, they may have even been dealing with somebody at work, but I feel like for you guys, honestly, you're looking for stability. So you're okay walking away from something that's just very physical in order for things to become balanced again. That's also something that I'm realizing. But I feel like there's two people here. I feel like you guys have a couple of new offers coming in. And I feel like you have your old person that's off to the side crying. What's coming in romantically for Gemini? What's coming in romantically for Gemini over these next couple of weeks? Mm, careful. Oops, let me put that back. I didn't put that in right. It was the Queen of Swords reverse. What's coming in for Gemini over these next couple of weeks? Romantically. See, I'm telling you, it's like there's something here where... I'm 
I'm going to be honest, Gemini, I feel like there's some type of karmic relationship or some type of toxic relationship that's being identified. I also feel like too, and we're going to go more over this in the extended as well as like, how does your person feel about you? What do they want from you? What's stopping them or what's the block or what are they hiding? Their next actions, your advice and the outcome for you guys. And we also go over this first. But just to give you a brief breakdown before we get into the extended, there is a toxic karmic relationship that's being released. And I feel like this non-talking, this non-communication, it's forcing somebody to go after what they want and make some type of offer. But I feel like there's something that's being released. There's baggage that's being let go of that's been waiting for a period of time. And I feel like there's somebody that's going to be very focused. Like, I feel like it's almost like you're the prize and somebody's like, enough is enough. Like, I don't want to do this shit with you anymore. I just want to lock you down. Like there's, there's an energy of getting locked down due to you being out there and you dating. With that being said, Gemini, I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.